Well, although the weather has been warm lately, colder winter months are coming soon, and that colder weather can, of course, take a toll on all of us, especially our pets. Kelsey O'Donnell learns how to properly accommodate our four-legged friends. As the temperature drops across the upstate, the Humane Society and other organizations want you to make sure you're keeping your pet's safety in mind. Freezing rain, sleet, and snow are all circumstances we may encounter during the winter months. Often, pets are the last to escape those weather conditions. They can get frostbite just like we can. Which is why the Humane Society is sharing ways you can help your pets when the temperature drops. The biggest thing is making sure, you know, as a pet owner, providing them with all the resources that you would want for them to be happy. First, keep your pets sheltered. That includes making sure there's a warm space elevated off the ground with some sort of covering. If your pet has to be outside or if your pet lives outside full time, making sure that you have the proper accommodations. So you want to make sure that your dog house is the right size. If you have a dog who spends um, a lot of time in that shelter and that's what they're relying on, but there's too much space in there, um, then that can actually let all of the cold air in. If your pet lives outdoors, make sure it has access to fresh water and that it's not frozen. The Humane Society also recommends being aware of what's on the ground. When weather conditions worsen, local emergency management use salt and de-icers to treat the roads and walkways. If they have any contact, make sure to wash their paws. You don't want them to lick and ingest that. So it could make them very sick. It also can help break up those little paws and make it very uncomfortable for them. And just in case your pet escapes from your home, Make sure it's microchipped. If it's cold or it snows, they have a hard time being able to track and find their way back. Regardless of whether your pet lives indoor or out, the Humane Society encourages you to keep their safety in mind. I certainly would hope that when people are, are looking at their animal situation that they're doing for them what they would do for themselves. And always remember, if you're cold, then these little guys are cold too. In Greenville County, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. The Humane Society says that other animals may try to take shelter in the hood of your vehicle or in your tires to escape from the cold. So make sure to double check those areas before starting your engine.